Hello, welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel. So we're going to review Force of Nature with Mel Gibson and Emile Hirsch, amongst others. It is an action movie. It is a low-budget action movie with a pretty decent cast, to say the least. Everybody in the production does a very fine job while they're alive. Yeah, it's that kind of movie. And if you enjoyed The Mummy with Brendan Fraser, then you will love this movie, even though they have nothing in common with the exception of it's a total popcorn movie. There is very little in the movie that you don't see coming a mile away, but you don't care and you enjoy seeing it happen. So you need to know that going into it. There are virtually no surprises, but it's a fun ride. It's kind of like a kiddie roller coaster with a little bit of oomph. There's not any outright jokes, so it doesn't have an 80s feel in that regard. You do have Mel Gibson playing his same old cranky, phenomenally large database know-it-all, like godly levels of know-it-all, but that's okay, he's not the only one. There's another character that's like, how do you know all this? And they don't really explain it in a way that works. There's an answer for it, but it's like, yeah, it's just not written now. But thanks for, thanks for trying. We'll move on to the next level now. The, oh, let's see. From a technical point of view, it's 90% of it is shot in an apartment building, presumably. And so that's most of the movie. That, that's one way to save on the budget is you just film there. They do some outlandish things. Again, think the mummy, and it, it's right in that regard where they're not trying to be outlandish, but they're trying to be outlandish. Again, if you've seen the mummy, you know what I'm talking about. And the lighting is good. The accents from the actors, oddly enough, they kind of come and go. The, everybody has a, a waving accent that yeah, whatever accent you like, don't hang on to it, because it, it may not last very long. And that, that applies for the characters that get speaking roles. There's a bunch of people in this movie who don't get speaking roles, but that's not unusual in an action film. Okay, what else can you expect and look forward to? Well, I just got to say this. I'm just going to throw this in now. If you are a fan of comic book movies and TV shows, oh, wow, you've got Black Lightning, you've got... Superman Returns, you've got Speed Racer, and of course you have Lethal Weapon. Oh, and you also have Gotham. Let's see, who else is in the cast? Uh, IMDb did not list the the older fellow, Paul, so I'm, I'm not sure who he is, which is kind of bummy because he looks kind of familiar, but there you go. Everybody else looked familiar too, and then I looked at him, I'm like, oh, well, no wonder they're in all these superhero shows that I've seen. So that's kind of a fun intersection. Oh, what else do you need to know? Not that much. It's just, it's a fun watch. You just grab the popcorn, start nibbling away, and don't be surprised. The language is kind of bad. Now, on another technicality that is really goofy is you have the hurricane coming, and they say it's a Force 5. It's definitely not a Force 5. You hear the storm. But the storm sounds like a normal storm. I've never been in a hurricane, but I've heard many interviews and they all say it sounds like a freight train. There are no freight trains to be visited in the sound in this film. In the movie, they pass through the eye, and after they pass through the eye, the storm kind of comes back. It doesn't rip the other direction, which a real hurricane would if you actually go through the eye. and the the yeah the storm barely comes back and you never hear it in the sound again and you hear it persistently in the beginning so that was bad because it was really noticeable because there's a scene where there's a lover's moment and you're like where does sound of the rain go aren't you supposed to be in a category five hurricane and yet there's no sound there's some other cheesy stuff too that's related to action films where there's people that can tough it through one level of pain, and then five seconds later, something else will happen, and they're like, ow, oh, ow, oh. it's like, okay, I guess I'm watching a movie. Again, it's a cheese ball movie, but it's fun. So, if you're going to rank it out of a 10, well, it depends. If you're just doing a regular movie, 
it's no grapes of wrath, baby. Uh, it'd be like a 6 out of 10 in that regard. But if you're going to do it based on the level of an action film, then um, 7 or 8 out of 10. It's just grab your popcorn and have a good time. So anyways, that's our review for that. We hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you in the future.